Another day and it's starting to rain, so I better make this quick. Uh, I left the fans running overnight uh, as after I quit last night, and when I got up, I just wanted to see since the, the van would have been sitting in the sun for uh, the entire day uh, hey, if it had any effect on the temperature at all. And uh, the effect was quite underwhelming, less than I'd expected. Uh, so I dug into the problem a bit because. Uh, uh, Reason tells me that uh, they'd make a bigger difference than they did, and uh, I have figured out why. Uh, and as you can see, I've added some of this car insulation stuff around the edge here, and uh, it, it's basically just sealed off of this area a bit. So if we've got the fan sucking air from the inside and shoving it out here, because previously the fans were just basically shoving a large percentage of the air they were grabbing. Uh, in here, and that leads to the indoor pillar uh, which goes along this edge. And uh, uh, when I removed the panel uh, on this side, where I hadn't cleaned it out, it was full of cobwebs. And I just saw how they were going mad with the airflow. So all of the air was just uh, moving up here and coming out through all the little holes and uh, crevices in this bar, just circulating the air around inside the vehicle. And uh, uh, when I added all this insulation stuff uh, and uh, did a bit of feeling around to make sure no, nothing's leaking anymore, the airflow, uh, w when I stick my hand actually outside the vehicle, has uh, increased dramatically. Uh, before I did the test file, I just shoved my hand in here and oh yeah, there's a lot of air flowing, but I didn't realize it was go just going around the corner there. So I think this is going to be a considerable improvement. Also found out that we've got a little cable grommet there, good for future reference if I want to pull something through. If I was a lot panel I'm going to use these guys, no idea what they're for. Uh, now that's how today started. And it is now the middle of the night, but as you are definitely not able to see, all the insulation's gone into the walls and the doors. I actually ended up using the entire heap I had there, which was like almost a cubic meter. That, that was a lot of it. But uh, everything is insulated about, <coughs> about as well as it's ever going to be. Uh, since uh, this stuff is very abrasive, I try to keep it some ways away from old mechanics and electrics and stuff, just to minimize any long time wear that. Uh, does mean that stuff like the rear doors are going to be a bit patchy because uh, they're not very well, well suited to be insulated. They just have so many weird shapes and lots of stuff in them. And uh, yeah, but uh, it's better than nothing. The holes are covered up and it's certainly going to make a difference. And yeah, it was a bit thicker than I really needed, but it's going to comp this stuff compresses really well, so it's just going to get pressed down behind the panel, and it's going to be all fine. The front rear doors were by far the well, the area that took the most. I basically put an entire uh, sheet into each of those doors, but uh, they are very well padded now, so this thing should be keeping the heat quite well now. Uh, still a bit annoying that I can't really do anything about those areas because it's just going to take up too much interior space if I do and I'd have to find some panel for it but we do have an insulated roof and insulated lower sides so that's better than nothing. One idea would be to kind of build some exterior panel because we do have a pretty deep gap here where you could just put something but that would be a pretty big project, so that's not going to happen this time. And as a final thing for tonight, here are the panels painted and refitted. Just using a few mounts, but it's a shame the camera isn't a bit more light sensitive, because it really is quite nice and pleasant and bright in here. If I stick my hand out in the air, there's a bit of reflected light coming from all over. And you can see there's actually light hitting the ceiling from below. If I were to film this earlier, it would just have been a black void with a light in the middle. So this is really nice. 
just painting of stuff like this bright really really do makes a difference in like how nice an area feels. Another day dawns and uh, I've emptied out and uh, cleaned everything out with a vacuum cleaner to get rid of all the insulation and dust stuff that you get everywhere when you deal with that uh, horrible fiberglass insulation. Uh, and since I've got it empty now, uh, I figured we'd take it for a bit of a test drive to see uh, how it just uh, sounds basically. Because I've basically filled <laughs> huge amount of the uh, space inside the, the walls with, uh, uh, you know, mass, which is locking everything up, which would uh, make everything run a bit quieter. And I'm a huge fan of quiet vehicles, which is why, obviously, why I drive a 1999 mid-engined van. <laughs> uh. But yeah, let's go. All right, you're, you guys are not going to be able to tell any difference because the camera's got automatic compression, but... Oh, wow. Battery's a bit drained from shining the headline for, like, days on end. I've been working on this project for, like, over a week by now. This thing had a, quite a bit of exhaust growl coming from the back and that was in large due to everything being undampened and I would say that it does have a quite considerably well not a very considerable but notably less noise coming from the back we're at like 75 now just from the panels from moving around the vibrations of the engine, so now we're at like 90, and this is where you usually, yeah, we still have quite a lot of exhaust noise, but not too bad. And as the last course of action last night, I mounted the interior solar panel wiring, so I just made a grommet using some of that uh, leftover car insulation -y stuff, uh, just to prevent large things from moving through and to brace the wire a bit and I just secured it uh, using extra wide electrical tape and the key to getting this to work is just very thoroughly uh, clean the uh, area you're taping and this should stick on quite well uh, but yeah now that that's out of the way we'll have a nice solar input connected down there uh, I should just have to mount a bumper back and that pretty much sums up what I need to do to the actual vehicle. So, now I can go, go ahead and focus on the stuff that's actually going to go in here. And so, thank you for watching. Cheerio.